This is a literal oasis in the desert, where at one point they actually dug out canals under the ground to bring in water from the snowmelt. Welcome to Turpin. I'm Josh, this is Far West China. Join me as we count down the top five places to visit here in Turpan. Let's start off with number five, the Turpin nightlife. Turpin is a great place to be walking around in the cool of the evening after the sun has gone down and the heat has disappeared. One of the great things that makes it so fun is the food. I'm talking about kebabs, the smoke that's hanging in the air, the noodles, the lamb meat, and of course the Central Asian atmosphere that really makes this worth staying up late. Number four are the great vineyards of Turpan. During the months of July and August, these vineyards just overflow with grapes that are pouring out everywhere. You're going to see them sold by the bushel out on the streets for extremely cheap. And at the end of the season, they take all the extra grapes, put them in these grape drying buildings, turn them into raisins to be exported all over the world. If you have a little extra time, get outside the city, walk through some of these vineyards, meet some incredibly nice people, and just enjoy the quietness of a Turpan vineyard. Number three, the Emin Minaret. This is the most iconic building here in Turpan. It was built in 1778 to honor the late Emin Hoja, who was a ruler over the Turpan region during most of the 18th century. Today, this is still a working mosque that's full on Fridays and on holidays, but for the most part, it's just a tourist destination. I recommend you spend about half an hour here. You can avoid the governor's mansion, just go inside the main complex, enter into the mosque, take a good look at the minaret. What I really love about the minaret is the brick patterns. There's 10 different brick patterns that are represented on the outside of the minaret. There used to be a staircase that went up to the top, but it's since been closed for safety reasons. So really, you're just gonna spend most of your time taking pictures on the outside of the mosque and minaret. Number two are the ancient cities of Turpan. You have Jiaohe on the west side of Turpan and then this place, which is Gaochang on the east side. Both of these are hundreds of years old and were once ancient capitals of the Turpan region. And my number one favorite place in Turpan is the Tuyok Valley, Tuyugo. This place is only about 45 minutes away from Turpan, but so many people don't even know it exists. It's a place where you can enter in and really get to see a living history of Uyghur life. You can look inside a lot of the different homes, you can see the mosque, you can see where Albert von Lecoq, the famous German explorer, used to live when he was here uh, doing a lot of excavation. So it's really not that expensive, it's a lot of fun, and it's worth coming out this far. Of course, that's not all there is to do in Turpan. You can visit the Beziklik Caves, the Karez, the Great Valley, all of this and more is gone into more detail in the Far West China Xinjiang Travel Guide. You can download a free planning chapter at www.xjtravelguide.com. My name's Josh. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, or best of all, subscribe to the Far West YouTube channel. You can see the little subscribe button right here. Thanks so much. Hosh.